Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, believers, saints of God, and anybody else that's left. This is the great baloney. So glad that you're here with me again. I'm going to do a little illustrations here. I just really enjoy all this little hocus pocus where the magician just puts a knot in the silk and then he just, just like they do in ropes, they just, magicians and, and knots or stuff are always some kind of funny. And they just put the knots and things. And so you end up with two knots. Of course, these are special knots. If you take the knot, you can slide it right off like that. If you take it this way, you can slide this one off that way. The only problem is then it's just kind of ruined your hanky because now you just got two holes in your hanky. Nothing else you can do about that. Anyway, I was uh, thinking about giving a little illustration here uh, about a little piece of tissue paper. I had two of them before. But, uh, let me, what did I do with the other one? No. Oh, I used the other one before. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, just watch. This is kind of neat. Just a little... Just a little piece of tissue paper. For all you magicians, watch carefully. Nothing in this hand, nothing in this hand, nothing. Watch. Roll it into a little ball, little tube, tap it. Man, this guy is good. Just fingertip control. That's it. Fingertip control. There we go. All of, all out of a little little piece of tissue paper. <laughs> That's so funny. Watch. And of course, you roll the tissue paper up in a little ball, stick it in your hand, have one of the little hankies, boom, knock it for a loop. It's gone. What can I say? And nothing there either. Okay, watch. Now I'll try it again. See if I can get this right. A little class, clear plastic tube, put the little hanky inside. Ah. There we go, now we got it. Now we got it. We'll put the green one in first, right over the little yellow one right here. There we go. And we'll put the little red one in the other end. just like this. Put that one in here. See if we can get this to work right this time. Blow it in the air. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. Now watch boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, as the three little hankies get put into my hand. Remember what color goes in first and what color goes in second. What did you say? Green? That's correct. That is correct. You're paying attention. And which color went in second? Yellow. That's right. The green went in first. That's right. And the yellow went in second. That's right. We're getting close. Now, those two went in already. There's only one left that's going in there, and you have to just see it for yourself. Here it is. What's the color of the last one? Red. That's exactly right. Red. That's... That's the color that is. And see, now you have one multicolored hanky. Kind of reminds me of the Godhead. Father in creation, Son in redemption, Holy Ghost in regeneration. Wow, this is kind of neat. Now I want to show you a little something I got here. See if I can put this down here now. Now, let me see if I can get this in here. And then you put the yellow one in, or the yellow part second. And you put the last part red. There we go. So we have like red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. Watch careful. Oh, yes. What happens now? It's unbelievable. Wow. How can that guy do this kind of stuff? I don't know. He just must be a magician. Okay, what am I doing now? Oh, oh, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. The little hanky trick here. This is so neat. Magicians love to tie knots and things. Always tying knots and things. There we go. Tie it again. Another knot. There we go. Now 
we got a red knot and a white knot. Watch. <whistles> Magic. Let's try it again. Let me show you. Now we take them all off completely. Throw them away. Watch this. This is amazing. I don't even believe this is possible. That's why I do it. Red and white hanky. Watch. This is so neat. Put the red and white hanky into the man's little magic tube. He pushes, he slaps, he pushes. Takes it apart. Ha <laughs> ha, disappears. It doesn't. No, I can't. I got it wrong again, Alex. Oh, my God. Oh, this is the way it goes. This way. I'm sorry. Like that. That's what it is. I can't see. That's what it is. Then he just taps it. Yeah, he just taps it. And then the little red and white hanky just become just a little red and white hanky. That's, that's how it works. See? Well, then if you keep pushing it back inside and you say the magic words... Palaki cookie. Then you just tap it again. Then after a while, it just becomes a long stream and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. It just keeps going and going and going. It's amazing. Just like it just keeps going and going and going and going. Oh man, that guy's just magic. I just I just love watching this guy do his magic. Let me see what else I got here for to show you. So I can kind of figure out what I'm doing. Okay. Tissue, toe, blow, ball. Yeah. That's so good. Oh! Boys and girls. When I was a little boy, I loved fairy stories. I loved make-believe stories. I always did. And, and I'm an old guy now, and I still like fairy stories and make-believe stories. I don't like stories about fairies, but I like fairy stories. And uh, I have a little story here that I learned when I was just a boy. Okay, fair enough, and uh, I'm going to show you, this is a story that I learned when I was just a boy, called the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Let me just put a few little beans in here. There's enough right there. And we know the story that Jack's mom sent him to town with the cow to get some groceries. But he met this crazy magician, and you know how the magicians are, and and he talked him into giving him his cow for these magic beans. And the kid came home and told his mom, he said, Mom, she said, where's the groceries? She said, I met this magician, and he gave me these magic beans. She got so mad. The story says she, she threw them outside. She threw them outside the window. Well, he, he got up in the morning, and... Well, he just, he just knew that those beans were magic. He knew they were. But somehow he, his mom didn't believe him, and so she just threw him away, and, and then he just threw him away and end up in the morning when they got up, lo and behold, the beans had become a beanstalk. And it just went up higher and higher and higher and higher and higher till it went all the way into the heavens. And Jack climbed up there, and also he did something else. Before he went up, he decided to see just how magical these beans were. So he went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And lo and behold, when he ended up, the beans had doubled and tripled and quadrupled. Unbelievable how he did that. He just, he said, I knew those beans were magic. I knew they were. Well, he just kept trying to get the beans off the best he could. And then he, he ended up putting a little piece of Reynolds aluminum. This is a modern story. Boy, if you want to do heavy steel. And they, then he turned around and he just popped a hole in it. And he turned around and he just started pulling out all these beautiful magic hankies. It was amazing. He just... Because he was taking his trip up to that place where the giant lived. And he just kept bringing these hankies out and they magic silks and magic hankies. Because the story said that, that there was a guy up there that had the goose that laid the golden egg. But he had to have these magic hankies to do it. And then once he got up there and he had these hankies, he laid them out in front of the goose. And the goose sat down and went, And after a while, guess what happened? 
Sure enough, he, he laid a golden egg. That's what he did. That's how it was. <laughs> Google it, Google it, Google it. But, you know, that was just a fairy story. That was just make-believe. Let me tell you about something that is not make-believe. That, that's real. I have something here that looks like a Pentecostal wallet. Nothing on that side. Nothing on it. You know, when, the, when I look out the audience through this, I see the greatest audience in the world. And when you look at me from that side, you see the good. Uh, now nah, we won't go there. That's okay. That's fine. So anyway, I've got these three little hankies. Here's the problem we're having. In nowadays, our kids are being challenged by all kinds of crazy people that tell us that if we don't do drugs and if we don't practice sin and we don't do stupid stuff, then eventually we're going to lose all our friends and we're going to lose our fun, and we're going to lose our, our future. And, and see, that's what these are. Friends, fun, and future. And they said, we're going to lose all them. But I got news for you, boys and girls. You don't lose when you refuse, when you don't do drugs. Oh, they'll say you're a square, and you're a law, and you're a loony, and you're a square. But let me tell you something. It's the people that are involved in all the drug addiction so people that are involved in all the crazy stuff, they say you're not going to have any fun because, see, they said this little stuff, that's a barrier to your fun. So you can't get any fun anymore. But he says, really, boys and girls, it's the people who use that really lose. It's not the people who refuse. You see, if you refuse, guess what? You don't lose. You don't lose your friends. You don't lose your fellowship. You don't lose your future. That's the best way to keep all that, is to do that that way. Well, I'm sorry I, I messed up on all this because, see, once you keep your refusing and stop playing around with sin, not only do you keep your friends and your fun and your future, but there's a long list of great and wonderful things that God wants to give you out of your life because there's a never-ending bad blessing of God for people who refuse. You don't lose when you refuse. It's people who use that, that refuse. So when you refuse lying and refuse stupid stuff, it's okay. You're, 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 you're not losing anything. Well, I hope that maybe for a few moments we had some fun and you enjoyed yourself. And uh, until next time, this is the Great Baloney signing off. Hasta luego. Mucho goodbye.